life before the program was probably 40 years of drinking drugs, running around with a bunch of lunatics, in and out of jail, prison. Staying in trouble, destroying everybody's lives in my life, hurting a lot of people. Being lost for a long time. And at one time I had everything. My wife didn't have to work, I had a house, cars, toys, bikes. And then uh, 10, 12 years later, I was absolutely homeless. One of the worst cities in New York State. With nothing, scrounging every day. And, Hustling to stay high and drunk all day, every day, before I ended up coming to Ohio. And I tried to program a different program, and that worked for a short period, but that was about it. It wasn't, it didn't work. Nothing seemed to work. How I've experienced God through the program, and I was saved when I was 18. I could have told you, I can tell you everything the Bible says. I can't tell you where it is, but I know what it says. And, but I never learned how to live it. I've been in that churches all my life. And the first thing they told me when I came here, Pastor Mike told me when I came here was, stop trying to fix everything, get your things wrong. Just submit to God and let him do what he's doing. And honestly, that's the only thing that worked. That's what did it. And being here is just, these places, people are like family here. It's not just a church. There's no cliques. There's no, you know, everybody's just put together. It's, it, yeah, it's not like anything you're going to find in any of the churches that I've, that I've been to. And, I mean, you don't have this kind of people that don't care. You know, if somebody that's been here comes in high or drunk, and they don't care. They're just like, Okay, get better, just get straightened up and keep coming. It's different, it's completely different. So my life like after the program, it's completely different. I have a different attitude about things. When problems come up, instead of getting mad and angry about it, I still do now and then, I'm not, like, not fixed, but I'm better at dealing with it and knowing something better is gonna come out of it. And I have a house. That, which was absolutely no way I could have pulled it off and done it. It just was basically handed to me, which, I mean, he just blessed me with it. There's no way I could have gotten it myself in the position I was in at that time. So, I mean, I worked for somebody where we're all together, all, a lot of the graduates and people still in the program. And we're always, at, you know, it's people here to hold you accountable for how you act. They can tell when you're not acting right. I mean, honestly, yeah, I have to be here. I say, want to help the program and the people who come in because those are the people I have to be around so I don't go back to where I was. I need to see what I was like when I came here through them to make sure it keeps, stays fresh in my mind so I don't end up doing the things I did. It doesn't work. It's the only, that's the biggest thing. If you don't, you're not around people that know you and know when you're acting up or something's wrong or you're not acting yourself and saying something to you, you know, it's over again. That's, I keep falling down, so, I mean, this, this is one place where you're not judged <clears throat> for what you did. Nobody cares. I mean, even the people that don't have the issues that we have, and 90% of us in this place do, so we all understand what it's like. I mean, there's nobody too far gone, you know, for God to care about you. He died, Jesus died for everybody, not just for people who have accepted him right. He didn't, you know, he died for the entire world. Anybody that says yes, are good and this place is a safe place to get right and learn learn about him who he is.